Princess of Wales, your Royal Highnesses, may I first welcome both of you to the school. Uh, now for all of our students on air today, good morning girls and boys. Oh, that's good. I thought you were... <laughs> Okay, uh, could I also say to the large number of parents and supervisors who are listening, would you care to greet our visitors also? Good. Well, uh, there are a large number of people listening in to all of you today, and uh, we hope that you have as good a broadcast as we do, uh, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. First of all, we're going to hear from some of the people in the various areas well out from Alice Springs. And uh, Kylie McClellan from Year 6, over to you first. Sonia, would like you like to say good morning? Okay, go ahead, please, Kylie. Thank you very much, Carly. Just to change the distances for our people, we must uh, remind them that you are about 500 miles uh, in English terms from Alice Springs, and your closest neighbours are in fact Queensland, very close to the Queensland border. So, Carly, good to hear from you. Uh, now, Forest Egan at Ormiston Gorge National Park. Thank you very much, Forrest. We were just able to hear you there, and uh, I hope that everything's good out at Ormiston Gorge National Park. We uh, remember that you were cut off by floods out there a couple of days ago, so I hope everything's all right now, is it? Very good. Good to hear from you. 
Uh, Tori Kelly, you're at Ayers Rock and you're going to be meeting some people this afternoon. Go ahead, please. Okay, thanks uh, Tori, and we hope you have a, a nice visit out there this afternoon. Yes, Tori is, uh, is out of the Red Sands Motel, and uh, she's lived out there for quite a while with her family. Uh, I'll be able to visit her tomorrow too, my bad jobs. Okay, uh, our only set of twins on air, and uh, Glenn and Danny Ferrans out of Rabbit Flat. Good morning to you. <laughs> Go ahead please, boys. much rain? No. You didn't? No, you sent it all in here, didn't you? You almost, well, you almost got it though. Uh, are your roads open right now? Oh, you are lucky. All right, now we're going to talk to one of our people in South Australia, uh, and that's Tanya Soldo, who's uh, about 150 kilometres over the border into South Australia. Would you like to say good morning? Go ahead, please. we're just making the point that you're trying to sell some opal for South Australia again. So I hope Dad's uh, going to find some soon. Have you found some yourself? All right, well we hope that you're able to get us some opal very soon. Bye now, Tanya. Um, with your permission, Your Royal Highnesses, there are a number of our students who would like to ask you some questions. So. Uh, I hope you enjoy these. Stephen Beasy out at uh, Ayers Rock. Stephen is uh, in transition, which means that he's about five years old. Uh, the question there was, has Prince William a little bike yet? Um, Stephen, he hasn't got one yet. We think he's a bit small. But perhaps when he's your age and size, we might get him one. Thank you very much. All right, we'll now go to Debbie Staines at Palmer Valley Station. Okay. 
maybe um, I'm very glad to hear you've got so many uh, horses for mustering the cattle. Uh, in uh, in Britain, we don't sadly muster cattle and sheep that way anymore. It's not big enough. But uh, I've mostly got uh, some polo ponies, which uh, I try to to ride in the summer. We have a very short polo season there, unfortunately. But uh, the Queen busily breeds a large number of polo ponies, so there are quite a lot of them about. I can't remember how many there are now, um, but I mostly use them for polo, and I did have a, a racehorse, which I used for steeplechasing, uh, but it died under me, unfortunately. But uh, we got quite a few. Thank you very much. Jamie Smith out at uh, Ayers Rock, you have a question. Does Prince William have a favourite toy? Um, Jamie, he loves his koala bear he's got. But he hasn't got anything particular. He just likes something with a bit of noise. Um, he got a plastic whale that throws things out the top, little balls. <laughs> Thank you. And Jamie, I hope that answers your question. Uh, Danny Brumby at Owen Springs Station. That's a very difficult question, uh, Danny, but uh, we haven't really thought uh, uh, in detail about that just yet, as he's only nine months old. And uh, I think it's very important to, to find out what sort of character he is before you decide on those things. But uh, we, shall, we shall soon see. We may uh, have to send him away for a little bit to uh, uh, a school or two, but uh, we've yet to, to decide on that. But he won't be doing it on the radio anyway, I'm afraid. Thank you very much. Uh, Bridget Cunningham at Orange Creek Station. Uh, the question there, sir, was that uh, when um, the people at Orange Creek have visitors, that their dad cooks a barbecue, and they would like to know if you do the same. <laughs> Very, we're very fond of barbecues, and uh, certainly my, my father is an extremely good uh, barbecue uh, chef, and uh, he's brought us up very well in that particular line. But unfortunately, where we are in, in Britain, the weather is never really uh, good enough for barbecues regularly. So when we have visitors, we uh, tend to have them inside rather than outside. But I still think that food cooked on a barbecue is far, far better than, than when it's cooked inside. So uh, any opportunity we can, we will cook outside, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, the next question is a combination question which has come from Andrew Clark and from Lee Clark at Andado Station. Lee, would you like to say good morning, first of all? Sorry, uh, Lee is about six years old now. Uh, Andrew, your question, please. Uh, I better answer this one, I suppose, as I as I was brought up. Uh, it's a terrible question, that uh, Andrew, because uh, I haven't actually counted them. Uh, and even if I did, I dare say there'd be quite a lot that uh, people didn't know about, um, that somebody had been living in for many years unbeknownst to anybody else. Um, but uh, in fact, uh, I have been almost all the way through uh, Buckingham Palace. I think I know uh, Windsor Castle better, but uh, it's a big place to live in. We now, we now live at a, at a smaller, place called Kensington Palace, which is not nearly so big. So our son William is going to grow up there rather than at Buckingham Palace. Thank you very much. Uh, Susan Fuller at, Dur <coughs> pardon me, at DeRose Hill Station in South Australia. He's just got six teeth at the moment, so he's gonna, the next big thing is he's going to crawl, we hope. He's got the right movements, but he hasn't done it yet. 
Yes. All right, and our last question is coming from Kiralee Moran out at uh, Wallara. Just a little bit smaller than a, your idea of a pony. So we probably will one day, hopefully, just to encourage him. Thank you very much. Uh, the boys and girls asked me to make a point about the size of the broadcast, but um, we're now covering an area of about uh, one and a half million square kilometres with the broadcast, which is about five times the size of the UK. So, um, and we also believe that some of our schools of the air further north are listening in as well. So, uh, hello to Catherine, if you're having a listen. Uh, Catherine School of the Air, that's not a lady. <laughs> okay, um, we have a couple of people who would like to say thank you for your being here. So uh, can I first of all call in Carol Barber from Mount Skinner Station. indeed for uh, for your best wishes uh, we are both delighted to uh, to be able to talk to you although it's quite difficult uh, to hear some of you in the in the farther off places uh, I, I hope all your your lessons go well I we're both full of admiration for the way in which you can do them over this particular radio uh, and also for your parents who obviously do a lot of work in in, in teaching you the right things Anyway, best of luck from both of us. Over. Thank you very much, Carol. Now, Matthew Smith from New Crown. Chris Cass, on behalf of the children and staff of the Alice Springs School here, I'd like to say thanks for coming along and speaking to us today. We were really pleased when you both decided to visit St. Australia and very excited when we heard you were coming to speak to us. We hope you enjoy your stay in Australia. That's Matthew. Matthew, thank you very much for, for saying what you had to say, and uh, I hope uh, we haven't disturbed uh, your uh, various uh, occupations today. No doubt you must be helping on the station, on the station and, and having to do your lessons at the same time. But uh, I hope we'll be able to bring uh, our son William back again when he's a little bit older. and. Uh, can realise what's going on around him and see some more of uh, this particular part of Australia, which I'd like to see more of myself, and I'm sure both of us would one day. Anyway, best of luck to you too. Thank you very much. Thanks, Matthew. Your Royal Highnesses, may I thank you both for taking the time to speak to our isolated children in Central Australia. It's been wonderful having you here. That now ends our special broadcast, so cheers, girls and boys.